So Project Elixir latest version, which is based on Android 13, version is 3.2, is now out. And it's available for a lot of devices. If your device has the official version, go ahead and install this thing. Which are the new things which are included in this version? I'll talk about all those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The first one is a security patch, of course, as this is a new update. So we have the latest security patch. The security patch is October security patch, which is, of course, quite good. We have have the android version 13 and yes as i'm using an official version if your device has the official version go for it and if it is not available yet for your device it will be available very very soon if i move on to some other things for example the default things as quickly as possible default launcher is a pixel launcher as expected no major changes here in this pixel launcher we also have some developer options so if you want if you know what you are doing you can go and check out these things these things are already available for you if i move on to the first change which we found here is in this essence whenever you open essence you can see there's a this kind of a quote which is written keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground these are some random quotes random greetings whenever you open essence you will see these things alongside all these things alongside this first change we have some changes uh, installed some changes available in miscellaneous for example we have the game space this is a very major change to be honest the previous update did not have that if you want to know about the previous update the changes or the things which were present previously for that what you can do is you can check out my previous video which uh, is actually having version 3.1 in this version we have higher fps in games and we have game space options and this game space is quite good this game space has almost all the options which you are looking for except uh, the evolution xos which has a notification mode customizations in this version we don't have that but let me show you that how this game space is looking like by the way by adding this to any one of these apps as i don't have any game installed and if you don't know i don't play much games so don't worry about that if we move on to the magisk option check out the settings ui as you can see this is how the ui is looking like the time date battery mode and ram this is what we have and alongside like if you know about the corvus os gaming mode it's not like that corvus os has at least better gaming mode than this one of course i'm not comparing it with but it is status bar have some customizations included if you compare it with the previous versions for example we have the clock and date customizations which were not available previously some traffic indicator options which is quite useful i think so it was available previously too but yes this looks quite good you can auto hide the clock at regular interval if you want to and also can hide the clock if the launcher is visible like same like miui like in miui we have these kind of things available other than else if you don't know things are quite interesting quite good one if you want to use this thing you can let me show you some other things which are included in this version project elixir is actually a good customization based customer and right now it's improving if i compare it with this previous versions yes these new versions especially based on android 13 these are changed a lot in this new version we also have the system ui tuner which means some status bar icons customizations are also changed icon op options are also available like you can enable or disable some icons which are quite useful quite interesting one if i move on to the other options which are present in this new version it also includes customizations related to theming of course these are not new ones these are just same like the previous ones but this is what we have some fonts customizations which are quite useful some icon pack related things which are good too we have some signal icons customizations last but not the least some wi-fi icon customizations are also available these are about the theming things which we have available if i move on to the security related things what we have is in the security settings is only fingerprint no face unlock which was kind of expected although no app lock has been included yet but maybe with the november security patch like in upcoming month we will see some of the major changes but right now this is what we have this is what it is included in this version if i move on to the other things for example if i move on to the quick settings panel this is basically same the best thing is we have the white quick settings background if you compare it with the light one if you come to other custom rooms like we have the light background in light mode dark background in dark mode which is quite useful quite interesting this is what we have thanks for watching and goodbye